So Doki Bird was supposed to be playing Street Fighter, and apparently Victoria Bright Shield is also supposed to be in the same thing. They might be blocking her. I'm honestly not too sure what's going on, but we're about to find out today. So first we got the clip of uh, Doki addressing it, and then there, we're going to jump into like this VTuber news video about it real quick. So let's see. Say Jam Slam. That's right. I will be participating in Say Jam Slam 3. Let's go. Street Fighter 6 arc. We're back in our FGC arc, guys. Okay, cool. Yes, no, we're so fucked. Like, <laughs> for this one, I'm really scared. I have no idea who a lot of these people are. So I'm like so anxious and everything. I will socialize. All right. Let's go. The part where a lot of you guys are here for because of my pinned message. I will address the elephant in the room. I'll cool. check this out because I don't want to accidentally go off script and like get people in trouble. <laughs> Word. I asked the organizers and Sejam if I could talk about it and they have like no problems with it. I want to talk about it to make sure there's no like rumors or like speculations going on during the tournament, especially okay. before like the team announcement. So you might have seen like the people who are participating in this current Sejam Slam. Apparently, the condition that they gave the organizers was that there has to be zero interactions between me and them. That uh, means I won't be on the same team. And yeah. Be in my skill division. Honestly, okay. I'm gonna be in the beginner level, and also I'm gonna get like absolutely destroyed. But <laughs> they will not be in that skill division, so we will not fight one v one. And Sejam even asked me if I was okay and comfortable with it a few days ago, and if I was really uncomfortable and stressed out about the whole situation, they won't. Let let them participate. I was honestly like, Whoa, really that option. Whoa, he picked Doki over the corpo. Okay, this was like the first time anyone has ever like asked this of me, and like he didn't have to do that. And I won't lie, I was really anxious, but I said it is not fair to kick the player out when they were not involved or responsible, especially that's also true. Very passionate about fighting games. That's also true. That's big to be here and I will not take that away from them. And mm, we all know that that's I big. have fighting games and me getting mm. won't really matter that much in the long run. So <laughs> I was honestly really surprised that Sejam wanted to make sure I was okay when it was really just easier to ask me to step down instead. I've been outcast before. I've been ostracized in the past. I was even denied entry for tournaments and events in the last six months. So like, I know wow. how it feels. Wow, that sucks. Like excluded. She's getting blackballed. And I don't want that for others, especially if the event is something they're passionate about. So I told Sejam that we shouldn't take away their chance to participate and ruin their experience yeah. with the actions of others. Going yeah. in, there's going to be like a lot of reactions when the announcements came up. So I just had to basically mentally prepare myself in advance type deal, which is fine. Like I knew in advance and I just had to like mentally prepare myself, make yeah. sure my mods understand what's going on as well. I'm making sure that no one's going to get in trouble and that starting here, there will be zero interactions with them as per the rules. Okay, and that's the rules. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Sounds like an open and shut case. Okay, well, there it is. I mean, honestly, that was very straightforward. Um, why is there a whole video about it? Um, let's check it out. So we got L Lydia back. Let's let's see what Lydia has to say. Press like, smash subscribe, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my other channels as well. Thank you so much for your support. Nyang nyang. On to our first piece of newsy news. All right, we're going to be talking about our buddy Doki Bird. Doki Bird is an indie uh, English language VTuber. Doki used to work for a different company long ago, but now yeah. she is thriving as an indie. And we're going to be talking about Victoria Bright Shield. So who's Victoria Bright Shield? Um, she is affiliated with Neji Sanji's Ninth Wave TTT. Uh, okay, so why are we talking about Doki and Victoria? Well, guys, uh, this is posted on the Kurosanji subreddit. This has happened already, but it says here, uh, Doki and Vivi will be participating in the next Sam Jam Slam. Uh, so here's Doki uh, over here on the top right. And the Victoria Bright Shields on the on the bottom right. So this is happening from August 26th to September 4th. So here is here is pretty much like a good uh, breakdown of what happened. This is posted by Justin S. It says so. Doki commented on what she referred to as the elephant in the room, speaking yeah. on the situation as close as she can get to directly. So first bullet point: Niji Sanji had the condition for Victoria Bright Shields participation that Doki Bird and Vivi cannot interact in any way. So we're going to fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Which I name. So essentially, Niji Sanji butted in and is like, hey, you can't talk to her then, which is really stupid. Yeah. So this is posted on the Kuro Sanji subreddit. It makes sense. Uh, posted by uh, VTuber Kaven Chi and says, uh, 
Doki addresses the Victoria situation. So let's take a listen. Yes, mm. that is right. Bro, I... we literally just saw the video, bro. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, it's good for research purposes. Yeah, just be like, hey, it's not her fault. Like, that's totally cool. That is very sweet. Let's just read what some of the people on Reddit got to say. By the way, by the way, I, I see your suggestions. I listen to your suggestions. I have turned on dark mode for Reddit. So it's a little bit kinder on everyone's eyes. Thank you so much for the yeah. suggestions. Okay. Uh, White light. No, says, no. Just like that, Kurosanji once again painted themselves as petty. Poor Vivi. <laughs> Poor Vivi. I know. Damn it, Kurosanji. What's going with them? Uh, Doki is always a class act. She takes the high road and benefits everyone around her despite blackness of Niji and all of their leg pulling. Doki's just the best. Doki is such like an inspiration to indies, you know? And yeah, she's always she always presents herself in such a classy way. She's incredible. Okay, anyways, let's move on to this next thing. Doki but is dope. still within the realm. Here it says, on the Kurosanji subreddit, by Mr. Shadow hero is this the first concrete example of niji blacklisting activities with former talents we've had a lot of situations where it was extremely likely but nothing where it was out in the public explicitly that the mm -hmm. talent cannot interact with the former talent in any way at all even if it potentially hurts their talent's chances at success. This is true. So, I mean, there has been a lot of speculation if Niji had a blacklist, but this is the very first time we're actually seeing it like IRL. No speculation, no tinfoil hat here. This has actually happened out of Doki's mouth. I feel like it's been a little bit quiet on the Niji sister front, but don't worry, they got something to say here. So this is a post on the Kurosanji subreddit by Sad Cryptographer 518 Niji sisters back at it again but they can do nothing but seethe. Haven't done one of these in a while. They once again show their true colors in some of these. Enjoy their coping and seething. Don't forget these Niji sisters are absolute lunatics. It's great that Vivi gets to participate in the Sam Jam Slam. And as always, thanks for reading. From what it appears to be, it looks like screenshots from the Clover website. Anon, Dragoons are so mentally ill that Doki has to make a special announcement to tell them not to harass Vivi. They'll do it anyway because they don't respect themselves or their Oshi. She was handed the win. I watched that match and even using King, she was still terrible. Okay, I'll bring your post up once Doki addresses her crappy fan base. Oh, ow, that's not nice. That's a horrible word. F goons will continue pretending like Doki isn't perpetually seething. What are those receipts, Doki C word? Wow, that that's rude. It was it wasn't Niji preventing it. It was the Wow, it was the Wow, that's not a nice thing to say. This is absolutely petty and childish. It's and it's honestly something that's ignorable. Like, just ignore them. Like, honestly, who cares? Just ignore them. Didn't think I could hate. Oh, wow. What is going on here? Why are they so mean? Oh, my God. That was a roller coaster of emotion and insanity. Let's see what the people on Reddit got to say. They are crazy losers. They don't even know that most anti Niji people actually support Vivi. Majority of Dragoons like Vivi, and no one blames her for anything. I love reading this because it reminds me that even with depression, I am more <laughs> mentally stable <laughs> than the Niji sisters. Hey, that's a so, win. Long story that's short, a win. The Niji sisters were trying to make something big out of this and being like, oh, you know, Doki, such a C word. In actuality, that is not true. So it's a little bit bizarre to see their rendition of the situation of what happened. Uh, long yeah. story short, they were both participating in this. And Niji told Victoria not to interact with Doki. And yeah, that's it. Anyways, that was insane. Yeah, that that's it. it honestly, it's a non-issue. It's nothing big. It, if anything, it's just people in the fan bases that are just chronically online. They're obviously not a big issue. If there was a big issue about it, Niji Sanji would have said, you know what, we're not doing it. Right? They would have took Vivi out of the, the situation in general. Right. They don't need to have Vivi do the, the Say Jam Slam. Doki got invited. Vivi got invited. Obviously, if there was a big deal, one of these two people would not be in the situation that they're in. All the rules were is like, hey, they're just not going to interact with each other. So they're not going to fight each other. They're not going to talk to each other. OK, I mean, it's understandable. Like the company literally fired her. Right. They wouldn't want their current talent talking to the said person. It would make sense, 
but yeah it's not that big a deal i mean at least they're both still getting to participate in street fighter and that's good right i i know vb likes playing fighting games i've I seen her do like the tekken videos so i know she's very interested in in the the fgc and as a person in the fgc i totally respect it and i totally appreciate it so yeah shout out to vb and shout out to doki i mean they're both going to be creating great street fighter 6 content and if anything that's a win so a win is a win any win is good for Niji. Like, this is a Niji win. Niji sisters, they're always going to be Niji sisters. So just ignore them. Literally, they have their own part of the internet. Just don't even pay them any mind. They're just going to do their thing. They're crazy. Okay, they're literally crazy. Who cares what they do? Anyways, I'll see you guys when I see you guys, man. This was interesting because this was posted uh, in the Discord. Shout out to the Discord. They wanted me to check this out. And so I did. It was a nice video. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all be safe. Bye-bye.